Hi there, welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in my previous video, I will be showing you how to uh, recover or log on and access to any EC2 instance. Uh, if you have lost a key pair or if you have not any uh, access to those key pair values, so we can use the existing EC2 instance, how we can utilize that. So let's uh, go back to the console. As in the previous video, I had one EC2 instance running. So I'll be utilizing that instance only. So let's, so that was the instance that I was having, uh, prod EC2 instance that was running. And you can see, I can do the SSH using the existing key. Now we will forget about this. Now suppose if you have lost a key or if you don't have any access to this instance, prod ec2 so i will just launch a new instance let's say recovery ec2 so this is a scenario like you have lost the key or you're not able to access the uh, production server how you can get back the access by a new key so i will just create a new key pair let's say recovery ec2 key and let it be a ppk file for with the putty create a key pair <clears throat> so i'll just copy to my uh, folder so that was a previous key so you can if you want you can i can just remove that one just uh, just the naming uh, both are different, so you can just have a watch on this. I will be using this key only in order to SSH. So that's it. So I will just launch the instance. So the second instance I have launched. That's it. So I'll go back to the instance. So I will choose this one prod. I will not terminate. I will just change to stop instance. So now I will do SSH into my recovery EC2 instance. So the, <laughs> this is my uh, recovery one, still it is pending. I'll just go to the dashboard over here. So in order to avoid any confusion, there is a filter, instance state is running. So this is the recovery one with the recovery EC2 key that I have created. Now I will post SSH and show you whether I'm able to access this one. Then we will proceed to the other one. So let's click on the connect. Copy this one. So I will go to the putty, paste the host name and SSH auth credentials browse. So you can see I'm using recovery EC2 key and click open. EC2 hyphen user so you can see i can access this now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a basically i'm going to copy the SSS keys and then i'm going to um, like i will be mounting that one that desk and then i will be copying the authorized keys from one to another so from this, I'll be moving the keys to another one. But before that, we have to make it sure. Let's go back to the instance over here. So this is my, uh, the sprout one. So if you go to the storage, you can see just keep a eye on this one. 
volume 03 and it is dev slash xvda so this is very very important you can copy paste and keep it somewhere else also if you want if you think that you will forward it but uh, 03 cc it is okay we can remember it now if you go to the volumes so i will detach this volume from my production server uh, so you can see 03 cc so i will detach this one it is in use so detach the volume and then I will attach this volume to the recovery instance. So you can see 03cc it is available. So I will action attach volume. So instance over here you can see this is a stopped one. I need to attach to the recovery one. And this dev SDF is coming. You need not to change anything, just attach the volume. Okay, that's it. Now, if I go to the EC2 dashboard, if I check my instance, that is a recovery instance. If you go to the storage, you will find out that two volumes are being attached. Now, what I will do, I will mount this one and just use the uh, write some commands and then I will use the SSH keys and move it to the uh, 033, 033cc volume and then again I will attach this volume back to the production EC2. Then I will use the same key in order to SSH. So this is done. Let's go back to the putty. So here I will run. Now this is in order, this is our recovery instance. You can see the IP address over here. 172.31.70.171. So I will just write over here sudo hyphen i. Okay. Then I will make one directory mount slash recovery. Okay. And if you want to see the structure, you can write it as lsb. Okay. So you can see we have two volumes. Then we can write it over here. Mount uh, our slash dev slash xvd f1, the first one, xvd f1 space slash mount slash recovery. So this is our mounting. Okay, there is some issue with the first time. Mm, let me, oh yes, before that, let me check that mount. LS. So you can see it's empty. This means nothing is there. So let's uh, use and you can okay let's mount using other way mount icon o rw no uid slash dev slash v df1 space slash mount slash recovery Okay, there is something. Oh, type one O.
Okay, I was putting zero over there. Okay, that's it. Then let's check over here. LS amount hyphen recovery. So you can see the files are coming over there. Now we will use the cat slash home. It's basically we're copying that keys. Easy to hyphen. Make sure you type the username correctly. EC2 hyphen user slash dot ssh slash authorized keys. Slash mount slash recovery slash home is two hyphen user. Okay, let me check. I hope I didn't make any spelling mistakes. Cat slash home is to user dot SSH authorized keys. Okay, bound recovery home is to user dot SSH. Okay, that's it. That's it. So now next is unmount. Okay, that's it. So I will close this SSH. Then I will go back to my volumes over here. So this was the dot three CC. Hey, you can check it over here. Uh, let me open another window. So you can see the recovery. So storage. So these two volumes were added. So I'll remove this one. So we'll go back to the volumes. I will choose the action. Okay, let me. We can use the force detach. Or we can stop the instance and we can detach it. It is in use. Let me try. Okay, detach volume. Detach. Now the same volume we will attach back to the. Let me refresh. Okay. Select this one, 0, 3, CC, action, attach volume. And now I'm going to choose over here, prod EC2. And here it was XVDA. Let me cross check it. Okay, attach the volume. So this volume has been attached to the instance. So we will go back to the instance. We will run our production instance. We will change the start state. Okay, it has been started. We will go back here and we can see in the storage. We got it back. You can see volume 3cc. Now I will put my so let's wait for it. Still pending. Let's will refresh this one. Okay, we got it. Connect. We will. Okay, we will click connect. 
copy this one over here and then SSH auth credentials. Now I'm going to pass my recovery easy to PPK open. That's it. EC2 hyphen user. So this is how we can get access back to our production server. It's just a mapping we are doing, just mounting the keys and we're just moving the keys and that's how we can get access to our, so you can see 172, 31, 78. If you go to the instances, uh, so you can, this is the production one that I was running. So you can see 172, 31, 78, 71. That's it. I hope you like my video. Please do watch this video slowly. Don't skip any steps over here. Otherwise, there will be lots of confusions. Follow step by step. Ultimately, you will be able to access the EC2 instance for which you have lost the keys or you have misplaced or some unauthorized access has been gone. You want to recover it back. Get the access back, basically. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.